I'm back. Road Transfer, Black and White Network. Well, let's talk about, I think, everybody's favorite new bluegrass sort of. Uh, he's not actually Appalachian. Uh, he was saying he was from Piedmont. Uh, but our favorite sort of bluegrass, a little bit of country outlaw in there. Oliver Anthony, of course, has went viral. He has become a star, a completely everyday guy that went viral with uh, one of his songs, uh, North, uh, Rich Men North of Richmond, which blew up, went viral. He had, He's ended up sort of all over the place. Uh, did a concert at like a, a what he they called a farm I, what we call a farm to market they call a farm market, um, but a farm to market at sort of flea mart kind of thing and like twelve thousand people showed up I believe it was, I mean this guy's went completely viral he's been all over the place well he's released a new video, and we've also found out how much money he's making now every day. And his new song, literally, he's come out with a new video, a new song in the last day, and it is now going mega viral. So this guy just keeps rolling out the hits. I did see, he did an interview the other day. He mentioned something about diversity. And I'll, look, I've seen a few conservatives, not pundits, but just, I guess, conservative voters or whatever, People that identify as conservatives that have actually slammed him over this comment. And I'm like, well, wait a minute now. There's a difference between saying we're a, we should have diversity in society versus forced diversity, which is what the radical left pushes is forced diversity. Yeah, you can't have people getting jobs simply because of their skin color. That's racist. You can't. You can't have a forced elevation of skin color or of gender or of sexual preference and get special treatment over it. Of course you can't. That's DEI, ESG, et cetera, et cetera. But yeah, diversity in society is fine. Okay. And I think that's where people understand there's, there's, there's a difference there. And I think that's what Oliver Anthony was trying to say. Uh, so no, I'm not canceling Oliver Anthony. I'm just not. So let's get to this, by the way, um, and we'll get to this also, but he's making 40000 bucks a day. And, you know, he passed on the $8 million record deal. And I said then, look, as an independent artist, because of iTunes, because of track sales, because of YouTube ad revenue, as well as other platforms, this is an age where an independent artist, if they get several million views a month even can make a very solid living okay and um and in some cases if you go viral or mega viral in his case you make a lot of money very quickly and that's without having to work for the man i mean that's just being real without having to sell out you can absolutely make a very in some cases life-changing money so, this is the Daily Mail. Country Sensation drops, uh, Oliver Anthony drops new song, I Want to Go Home, that closes with a Bible verse. My goodness, I'm surprised the woke's heads hadn't exploded with the devaluing of Christians these days. Oliver Anthony made history as the first debut artist to go straight to number one on Billboard charts with his anthem, Rich Men, North of Richmond. And in fact... Let's take a look. There it is. Billboard Hot 100. He has got the number one song right there. And I'm talking, he's beating Taylor Swift on here, folks. He's taking Nicki Minaj to the woodshed, for crying out loud. He released another track on Tuesday titled, I Want to Go Home. And it has already garnered 1.5. 4 million listens on Spotify. Good God. In case you're wondering, this is it on YouTube. He's number two under trending. 2.4 million views in one day. Now, to give you some kind of an idea, our sports channel's got 216,000 subs. 
2.4 million views. That's our monthly views about six months out of the year. And, and, and that's not a super small channel. 216,000 subs is a pretty good sized channel. But we average between 2.5 million and 3.5 or 4 million views a month on that one channel. So in one day, he got the same amount of views as our sports channel, the big one, might get in an entire month. Anthony, who releases his music without a record label, is estimated to be earning $40,000 a day after he turned down offers for as much as eight million bucks he come out and said he doesn't want a large tour bus he doesn't want any of that he doesn't private plane he, he, honestly you're talking about a regular dude here that kind of doesn't want the fanfare all right he wants to go out see microphone sing good music tell everybody i love you sign some autographs spend some time and and he's been spending a lot of time with people after his shows I think after the show the other day, I heard he stayed three hours just to sort of visit with people afterwards that wanted his autograph and to talk to him and give him. He's listening to a lot of people's stories that are that can totally relate, and that's the thing. The working class and the and the everyday blue collar American can relate to what this guy says in his music. Country music sensation Oliver Anthony has dropped a new song titled "I Want to Go Home" that closes with a. Verse from the Bible as he continues to be a smash hit despite the lack of record labels. The singer recently made his uh, made history as the first debut artist to go straight to number one on the Billboard charts with his country anthem, Rich Men North of Richmond. His overnight success, sparked by, blue, by the Blue Collar Ballad, where he rails against working overtime for bullshit pay, and slams woke politicians for ever only caring about minors on an island somewhere. He released another track on Tuesday. has already garnered 1.4 million listens on Spotify. My God, that's crazy. The artist's latest song touches on religion, war, family farms being sold, and the loss of green space. It is sort of concerning that you're realizing that a lot of our just wide open land, you know, our, our rural land, our mountains, places we just like to go and look at and travel and enjoy and camp and blah. A lot of that stuff's just disappearing, folks. By the way, China's buying a lot of it. Just throwing that out there. They're buying, China's buying a hell of a lot of farmland. All topics that have been in the headlines and focus of political debates in recent months. Every day living in a new world is one too many days to me. And it's got a lot of lines here, right here. The singer closes the music video of his latest song with a verse, Mark 836 from the Bible. It reads, For what shall it profit a man if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? So, in other words, you're making all the money in the world, but you've sold your soul to the devil, so to speak, to do so. Not a great way to live. Not a great way to look at yourself in the mirror, is it not? He previously struggled with depression and alcohol abuse, but he said recently he found religion. Just like those once wandering in the desert, we have lost our way from God we have let false idols distract us and divide us, he wrote on Facebook last week. The factory worker from Farmville, Virginia, bested the Beatles and Elvis after his self penned song, Attacking Politicians, drew 17.5 million streams. <laughs> wow. And 147,000 downloads after its release. His success has attracted the industry uh, interest of industry figures, including country producer John Rich and rapper Gucci Mane. But Anthony claimed he turned down a record record contracts worth up to eight million. People in the music industry give me blank stares when I brush off eight million million dollars. He wrote on Facebook page. 
I don't want six tour buses, 15 tractor trailers, and a jet. I don't want to play a stadium show. I don't want to be in the spotlight. I wrote the music I wrote because I was suffering from mental health and depression. No editing, no agent, no bullshit. Just an idiot and his guitar. Dude, you are... You're rocking. I mean, you are rocking it. But the singer is estimated to be earning $40,000 every day from sales and streams of his music, according to Trade Journal Hits. Wow. Wow. His rich man, North of Richmond, song slams high taxes, low wages, child trafficking, and the obese milking welfare. Well, God, if you're five foot three and you're 300 pounds, taxes ought not pay for your fu- bags of fudge rounds. I mean, he just, he's not lying. The song has been championed by conservative influencers, including TV host Laura Ingram, who paid tribute to its haunting sound and commentary on what's happened to America's working class and has put, has put the pop charts at the heart of the culture wars. And keep all this in mind, folks. This comes right after Jason Aldean went mega viral with a anthem that was about being fed up about other things and about sending a message that in small towns, people have each other's back and we also don't put up with people burning down small towns. Small towns is about family, friends, law and order without all the chaos and the destruction. I mean, here we are. We're talking just weeks apart. What, three weeks apart between Try That in a Small Town and North Men, uh, uh, Rich Men North of Richmond dropping. And that also tells you where people are at when it comes to their music taste right now. People are looking for music that sends a message that is relatable to folks, right? I mean, just where we are in society. You know, so much we talk, you know, we talk a lot of politics on this channel. But so much of of what is lost is people are just looking to get back to some kind of version of rural America in a lot of ways. The, The idea of setting out in the country, walking over, walk out your front porch, Sit down, rocking chair, got your dog beside you, drinking your uh, Miller Lite or Kurz Lite, rocking back and forth. You know, it's getting close to dusk. You know, the lightning bugs, the cricket starts chirping, and it's the exhale of life. You know, that's heaven to a lot of folks. And, and that's, that's something a lot of people have to figure out how to get back to, including myself. Oliver Anthony, he kind of talks about, that's, that's, that's the feeling this song gives me. I need to get the, his music, his song. I got to get back to that kind of thing. And I, thought, I think a lot of people are sick of the feuding, and they're sick of traditional values being poo-pooed. Yeah. Tell me what you think, Black and White Network supporters. That's just an update on Oliver Anthony, who continues to crush all the narratives about the music industry and how it has to be handled. Peace, I'm out.